what do we think are big big things that brokers should be thinking about from a from a digital digital marketing you know maybe um, everything from sort of driving traffic on the front end to sort of optimizing on the back end who wants to take that first yeah I'll, I mean I think the biggest thing is get started mm-hmm. yeah right it's not a you can't have a striking working group for June Right. You got to start, <laughs> right? Because the the learning that takes place in organization, one of the things I think that's undervalued, even in our journey with Apollo, is how much we've learned from mm-hmm. testing new things, t- having new features that that didn't quite pan out. We thought the brokers were going to love a button that did something and it never it didn't work out that way, or the data we collect. And so, just having that culture within an organization of trying things out and it doesn't necessarily have to be spending huge amounts of money but it's like all right let's try internal messaging at the company and just see what people think Mm -hmm. sure and then let's put in some way to establish a strong feedback loop to say well let's document on the way what are we learning is it like it'll be like this or not and and having a process to collect information i don't think that even if you're putting a five-year plan you're never going to be done in this new technology seeing this new market it's always going to be all right we're going to constantly be evolving because whatever you do today will be out of date by 2025 yes so you're going to have to keep going with it. So in terms of 2020, get started, mm-hmm. right, I'd say is a big one. But everyone's also on a different spot in their digital life cycle. Yeah. Get started might be, all right, do we have a website? We need a website. Do we have a Google listing? We need to start. It's free to get a Google listing. It's free yeah. to have a LinkedIn page for your company. You yeah. know, these very basic things. Some people, they're, they're way on the other end of the curve, and they're saying, okay, well, how are we going to go into more advanced chatbots, mm-hmm. and how are we augmenting that side? So yes. I think it's just be pushing up against that boundary, but it's creating a culture internally of that mentality. It's yes. not just the president going to some conference, coming back with these ideas. How do you get the cubicle level staff empowered and engaged to participate in that type of digital transformation? And it may not work. I think it was another part of the message you brought up totally. earlier, right? It's okay if you try that chatbot for six months and realize, ah, we didn't give it the love that it may have needed, right? Well, that's part of it too, is it's like, it's just like setting a hypothesis. It didn't work. Okay, why not? And maybe it's like when rubber got invented or whatever, it's like it didn't work, but now we have rubber. Right. It's like, oh, that turned out okay. You yeah. know, it's like some other byproduct yeah. or something. Or, yes, right. As long as, as long as you're learning from what you're doing, then you are moving forward as opposed to saying, well, it didn't work, so we're actually back where we're we started. Out. No, yeah. you, you've yeah. learned, which means that you can move forward, but in a slightly different direction. Yeah. Well, how much is a master's degree, right? And you know, how long is that <laughs> going to take you to go do? So sure. if yeah. you're going to go do that internally, huge learning curve. And you can pay and you can invest in that learning. And I think that's yeah. an understated way of, it's not just, everyone says fail fast. I think it's too cliche, but it's mm-hmm. like you're on this learning journey and mm-hmm. embed that in your culture. One thing we say a lot too is you go to Starbucks, yes, for cheeseburger. They're like, we don't sell cheeseburgers. They'll sell billions of dollars of lattes and they know your name and they'll cross you a croissant, sure. but they just don't sell cheeseburgers. So I think when it comes to brokerages and insure tech, it's like you don't have to go pivot into some whole new market. Yeah. You have to really understand, like Margo said, who's your client? Yes. Right? And if your client is big manufacturing companies, all right, what is the technology, the marketing, the thought leadership for that client? Yes. And it's not going to be the same as if you're targeting auto leads, and it's not going to be the same if you're a personal lines brokerage. And and so really to start with your customer and work backwards from there, I'd say is the, the other big one, and, and to really say, what what do we want our brokers to be the best at? And that's something I think gets missed. People go yes. try a tool, they go buy something, but at no point have they said, well, what are we actually trying, trying to do here? Yeah. What's mm-hmm. the problem we're trying to solve? Are we trying to mm-hmm. sell cheeseburgers at a coffee shop? Maybe we shouldn't do that.